So let's go back into this terms. Okay, so now we have this terms of the equation of uh, motion. So let's take everything here to this side. Having said x1 equals theta times uh, uh, one fourth, x uh, dot equals theta times one fourth, and then so on and on, x2 equals theta times three fourth. Okay? So having said that, let's do moment of inertia, j theta dot, but in this case, it actually came out to be 1 over 12 m. 1 square plus m. 1 4 square theta double dot. And then let's take this right here to the other side. And now what we have here, this right here, it will become c. And x dot, we said it's actually theta 1 fourth. So this actually would become one fourth square, so one fourth times this one right here, theta dot plus combining the x with this right here, we'll have g x and c. In this case, what we'll have is we'll have one. Times of theta equals zero. Okay? Having said that, this is your equation of motion. Or and from that you can actually solve for the natural frequency and everything. But for this case, this is just your this is your equation of motion. This is how you calculate it based on this problem. Thank you so much.